Now learn a parable of the fig tree. When his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass, till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Israelites, it is important that you do not allow the kingdom of darkness and self-righteous people distract you from the perilous times we are living in. There is always a purpose for the events taking place in the physical realm. Regardless if you believe the events taking place is a hoax or not, it is still dangerous times we are living in. The scriptures inform us that there is a time and purpose to everything under the heavens. To everything there is a season, a time for a big purpose under the heaven. It is important that you silence the noise to hear the gentle, quiet voice of the Most High. At such a time as this, the kingdom of darkness is going to try to sway you in all directions. The purpose to distract you from the warnings and protection from the Most High. The kingdom of darkness wants to lead you into the traps and snares set up for you. You have to use discernment. You cannot solve what is happening independently from the Most High. Israelites, you have to decide whose voice you're going to listen to. Just as the scripture said, there is a time and purpose for everything. We have to analyze everything to find the purpose. For example, the kingdom of darkness is using biochemical warfare against the people. There is a greater purpose to this attack. At such a time like this, your goal is to find out the purpose. You want to pay attention to what your enemies are doing. The kingdom of darkness is not going to plot a massive attack without a purpose. To keep you from getting to the root of the matter, Satan will agitate the hearts of those who operate in the flesh to engage in foolish debates and express personal opinions to keep you distracted. For example, the coronavirus is a massive distraction from the kingdom of darkness. You want to find out what the kingdom of darkness is distracting you from. Because so many of our people are operating in the flesh, Satan is using them to be an obstacle to their people and themselves. The scripture said to be watchful and remain alert. Our adversary prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. The kingdom of darkness is not only using the media owned by the synagogue of Satan to deceive the masses. The kingdom of darkness is using awakened people and the wicked to fulfill its purpose. Many people are passing along hearsay. None of the information has been confirmed nor revealed by the Holy Spirit. By repeating hearsay, it will increase the chaos. Too many people are relying on human wisdom combined with the resources from the beast system to decode a spiritual problem. Operating in the flesh will not resolve spiritual problems. You must operate in the spirit to get to the root and find the truth. The scriptures reveal to us that the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the sight of the Most High. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. Not only is the wisdom of this world is foolish, the scriptures also reveal that the Holy Spirit revealed truth to us and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. In order to get to the root, you have to look in the spirit realm. The enemy will expose what he is doing, but because many are distracted, they will miss it. Likewise, in the mix of chaos, the Most High is speaking. He will reveal to you the truth and tell you the things to come. Remember, the kingdom of darkness imitate everything the Most High does. 
In order for Satan to deceive the world, he has to imitate the Most High to convince the people to follow him. Sometimes, Israelites, the Most High wants to shake things up and remind his people in the world of his glory. Because the kingdom of darkness is aware of the upcoming changes, Satan will send distractions to cause you to miss or delay what the Most High is getting ready to do. For example, the coronavirus is overshadowing a major breakthrough the Most High may have in store for his people on a national level. We all experience the kingdom of darkness increasing the attacks against us when we are close to our breakthrough. Many people give up when they are close to the end. The kingdom of darkness purposely increased the attacks at the end for you to never make the connection and receive what the Most High has in store for you. Likewise, the kingdom of darkness will create a crisis to shift the focus of the people, especially those of us who are alert and can see beyond what's in front of us. I want to take the time to draw your attention to the prophet Elijah in the scriptures. His story is a very good example for us in this generation. Elijah believed he was the only surviving prophet of the Most High. Jezebel ordered for all the prophets of the Most High to be put to death. Elijah fled for his life. He was living in fear. Elijah requests that the Most High put him to death due to his overwhelming trials and tribulations. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die and said, It is enough. Now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. Elijah was going through it. The Most High was with him every step of the way. Before Elijah became a fugitive, the Most High used him in a mighty way. The Most High used Elijah to display his glory to his people. Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal. Then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks. And let them choose one bullock from themselves and cut it in pieces and lay it on wood and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under. And call ye on the name of your gods and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God that answereth by fire, let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. The Israelites were serving idols at the time. The Most High sent Elijah to bring his people back to him. Elijah mocked and embarrassed the prophets of Baal. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O oh, Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. And they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey. A peradventure he sleepeth, and must be awaked. The kingdom of darkness dislike Elijah embarrassing and exposing the false prophets of Baal. In addition, proving to the Israelites the Elohim of their fathers was the true creator of all. Satan stirred the heart of Jezebel to have Elijah killed. In one instant, Elijah is being used in a mighty way by the Most High to fleeing for his life in the next moment. In the mix of his crisis, the Most High was with him. Israelites, the Most High always preserve his anointed and he protect the righteous. The Most High plan beforehand how he will deliver his people, the remnant that serve him in the spirit and in truth. It may appear as if the world is out of order. Chaos is everywhere. The Most High is aware and already made plans for the righteous. It is important that you listen and follow the instruction from the Holy Spirit. Once Elijah went through his breakdown due to his circumstances becoming overwhelming, the Most High encouraged him to continue. Even the prophet Elijah gave up at some point in his life when the kingdom of darkness increased the attack. Those who are destined to survive, they will survive. The Most High will preserve his people. An important detail I want you to focus on is the many distractions that came before Elijah saw the glory of the Most High and heard the voice of the Most High. Keep in mind that all of the distractions came from the Most High. In the next phase of his journey, Elijah had to use discernment and trust the Most High before he took a step. 
The Most High is the Alpha and the Omega. He can carry out his plans however way he please. Before the Most High responded to Elijah, the Most High sent a great wind. In the mix of the wind, Yah was not in the wind. I believe the wind could have been a tornado. After the wind, there was an earthquake. An earthquake is no small disaster. We have seen earthquakes destroy nations in major cities. After the earthquake, the Most High sent fire. The Most High sent all of these plagues, yet he was not in the mix of any of those events. After all the events accomplished its purpose, Elijah heard a still, small voice. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts, for the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword, and I, even I only am left, and they seek my life to take it away. And he said, Go forth, and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind rent the mountains, and break in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind, and after the wind an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake, and after the earthquake a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire a still, small voice. When Elijah heard the voice, he responded. Elijah only responded after hearing the gentle, quiet voice. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle, and went out, and stood in the entering in of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him, and said, What doest thou here, Elijah? Israelites, it is important that you know the voice of the Most High. His sheep know his voice, and the stranger's voice they will not follow. Israelites, in the mix of chaos, we must learn to discipline ourselves to listen for the still, gentle, quiet voice of the Most High. Once you hear the voice of the Most High, you listen and follow his instructions. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness cause you to react before time. Even Yeshua had to wait for the ordained time. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? Mine hour is not yet come. We should never run ahead of the Most High. We must learn to silence the many voices that are speaking to hear the gentle voice of the Most High. The unclean spirit voices are not the only voices to silence. The beast system media, as well as the self-righteous, know it all. Presently, the kingdom of darkness is waging war with the people. There are multiple distractions. The kingdom of darkness is using the spirit of fear and infirmity to cause the people to panic. Too many Israelites are seeking answers from the wrong source. Your focus should be on finding the most high in our present situation and listening to what he is saying to you. We need our people with a voice to encourage our people to seek the most high at this time. Stop trying to decode this present chaos by using the beast system data. Israelites, the kingdom of darkness will plant all kinds of articles and videos in its media, as well as solutions to bring forth confusion. The purpose of releasing false information is to keep you guessing and distracted. Elijah waited until he heard the voice of the Most High. Once he recognized the Most High, he made his petition known to the Most High. And it was so, when Elijah heard it, that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entering in of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said, What doest thou here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord God of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant, thrown down thine altars, and slain thy prophets with the sword, and I, even I, only am left. And they seek my life to take it away. Israelites, release the old ways of thinking and renew your minds. Yes, the kingdom of darkness is creating a crisis. You should use this time to seek your Elohim. Instead of looking at what is happening in a negative way, see how you can use this situation to benefit you. Some of us barely have the time to fast nor spend time in the presence of the Most High because of our many obligations. The kingdom of darkness want you to quarantine and practice social distancing. Instead of complaining, use the time you would have dedicated to support the beast system by working to seek the Most High and strengthen your relationship with the Most High. By doing this, you will be able to better discern the voice of the Most High. 
if the world is panicking, let them panic. Remember, you're supposed to live among the heathens. Make sure you stand firm despite of what our present circumstances is revealing. When the people of the Most High repent, humble themselves and pray, when the people of the Most High diligently seek their Elohim, the Most High will hear their prayers and move on their behalf. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Israelites, you must understand the more you pray and engage in spiritual warfare, more crises will arise. Remember, it is through trials and tribulations change comes. I can guarantee after the corona crisis, new laws will be in effect and change will happen. Likewise, Israelites, when we pray and seek our Elohim with all of our heart and mind, we will find him and change will come. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul, when thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God, and shalt be obedient unto his voice. For the Lord thy God is a merciful God. He will not forsake thee, neither destroy thee, nor forget the covenant of thy fathers which he swore unto them. Once we know how to interact with the Most High, no good thing will He withhold from His people that walk uprightly. When you pray, not only are you communicating with the Most High, you are waging war with the kingdom of darkness. Expect the kingdom of darkness to fight back. One of the many ways Satan fight back is through fear, distraction, and chaos. When righteous Israelites pray on one accord, asking the Most High to plead their case, behind the scene, the Most High is moving on his people's behalf. When you see the world is flipped upside down, the defeat that has taken place in the spirit realm is manifesting in the physical realm. It is important that you understand what happens after you pray. If your prayers was received, change will take place. Yah said to remind him of his words. When you successfully remind him of his words in prayer, whatever his words declare, that is what will come to pass. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Many of you are praying and asking the Most High to intervene on our behalf. Some of the ways the Most High intervene is making nations rise against other nations. The Most High will use hardship and chaos to deliver his people. Yah has a way of using what the kingdom of darkness meant for evil, for good. Elijah went through hardship. Most of the prophets in the scriptures went through hardship. In addition, live in a time where our people were persecuted to the highest degree. The Most High used those circumstances to deliver his people. It is important, Israelites, to continue to engage in spiritual warfare. Keep praying and seeking the Most High, especially at this time. It is through those prayers you will begin to see the Most High carry out his plans towards the kingdom of darkness and the workers of iniquity. The kingdom of darkness want you to believe your prayers are not working. That is the reason for the sudden change of events. Do not be deceived. Your prayers are working. The Most High will continue to fight on the behalf of those who love and serve him. If you have a personal relationship with the Most High, I can guarantee the Most High has warned and prepared you for the times we are living in. Do not allow the kingdom of darkness distract you from seeking the Most High. Find out what your enemies are distracting you from. You can counter their attacks through prayer. Listen for the gentle, quiet voice of the Most High. Transform what the kingdom of darkness meant for evil into good. The Most High always encouraged his people before a trying time to fear not. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Israelites, fear not. My advice to you, practice social distancing with the world and quarantine with the Most High. By doing this, you will draw closer to your Elohim. Silence the wicked voices speaking to you and submit to the Most High. By doing this, watch how the Most High will send the kingdom of darkness evil deeds back on their own heads.
For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Our generation is living in a revealing times. The Most High is showing his glory in multiple ways. Israelites, make sure you are contributing in a positive way. Who knows that the Most High awaken you to the kingdom to serve his purpose at such a time like this. Then Mordecai commanded to answer Esther, Think not with thyself that thou shalt escape in the king's house more than all the jewels. For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed. And who knoweth whether thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this?